Hello guys and welcome back to another part of Hardcore Calamity, this time in Revenge mode. So last time we did all, the, all of the Sentinels, which was quite of a joke. The hardest one was probably Cheetah's Void and well, at the start with Stormweaver was a bit shocking. Like all of the sudden high damage of him, the end was quite, quite boring. So um... Yeah, this part we're gonna do Poltergast and Old Duke going down to the abyss all I, and doing Acid Rain Heal 3 all at, at least those are the plans. At least the abyss part and Old Duke, I don't know, may need to wait. I looked up if there's like a perfect arena and for the arena there's like either the big space arena which I have and you just need to be good dodging him or like there's a lot of donut arena which is like which sounds like a one screen arena which is like 60 times 60 tiles like some tiles in the middle so Portugal checks like in a 40 times 40 square blocks around him if there's like enough arena blocks and if there's not he's gonna sell a raid so I would say I'm not even gonna try it sounds like a horrible thing so, one thing, we need either 25 Phantoplasm to make a summon. We need 50 Phantoplasm. Now I would say we just go Zerg and... We just go Zerging and... Hope everything gonna is gonna work out fine. We have all, all of our accessories. As far as I know, Poltergeist don't have has any damaging debuffs. The only debuff... It has is uh, is the is the moon bite. We cannot heal at all, so we should be aware of that. And I would say let's hope nothing goes wrong, so I can get this done with. I want to get this actually done with and get a summon for him. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Before we do that, before we do that, um, God damn it! Hey, before I forget that. So, since I should have my relocators on R, I'm pressing R, I don't have a relocator. Since I'm not re actually not ready to farm for that thing now. I have to say, I just say it like it is. I'm not ready to farm. I'm not ready now to say, stay for like, God knows how long it takes in the, in the, in the caves. I will like make myself... The rod of this guy with that, I'm gonna make myself the relocator before we go into anything else. Because that's gonna be a hell of a lot of a fight. So we're gonna make the relocator. I'm... I cannot spam it, that's good. We have 5 sec uh, so five second cooldown, probably is higher when I'm... What? Interesting sound. Nice. I'll take it. We probably have a higher. We probably have a higher, cool, higher cooldown if we are. Here, yeah, if we are. Oh God. Probably have a higher cooldown if we are. Currently. Yeah, we probably have a high cooldown if there's currently a boss alive. So let's carefully get to it. We have all we have all those. It's okay, we have I should be prepared and I should be ready. I, I'm actually not ready. I don't know, it's probably as easy as like the other fights against Providence, but I'm let me be scared, okay? This actually scares me. It's I am I am I've not a good memory of Poltergeist ever. Didn't change. So we have um we could switch out stuff in and out. We could switch out stuff in and out. Okay. Okay. It has a still. It has a predictive dash. It has a sh hit ton of HP. I'm not. I'm gonna curse like. I'm like gonna curse like that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh what the hell is wrong with you? Can you not do that, please? Actually, let me get my mirror blade ready. Right. 
Okay, we should have. We should have her above the mirror blades. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? It's when? What is... what? Okay, no, may, may it help. That's something wrong. There's something different and I have no idea what it is. Uh, I have an idea what it is. Uh, this thing has a health bar. What the heck? Okay, they changed it. They changed it. I'm not. I'm mean, actually a bit scared now. Oh god. Oh god. It's almost dead. It's dead. What? I killed it. This is just normal pot. Oh my god. This. Oh my god. Oh hell. Oh hell. Okay, I killed this. I killed this friend. Is this good? Oh, that's a oh, scrapbook. Thing is different. Why is it different? But you now respawn and being still pissed about it. It's not predictive anymore. What is wrong with that? I need to look up what's up with that. What? I'm not gonna trust that one. Come on. Yet. I don't care. Through me lead. Actually, I'm a bit. I'm like really surprised what's up with that boss now. There's there's quite a bunch different, quite a bunch of difference in there. I like actually sitting here a bit shaking. I know this is quite a bit of over overreacting because I'm just because I'm just fighting a boss in the game. But like I I was so sure I was so sure this fight would be really extreme. Now pulled. The dash doesn't seem predictive anymore. You can kill the clone, which is like the the hell hell the hell best the hell, best change ever, or what means the hell best change ever? The hell best thing ever because this clone can just completely mess you up every every time it is there. It's there. I don't know. It seems it seems like this fight got changed quite a bit. Quite a bit. So we got this thing now, which I have no idea what I want to switch out for actually. Maybe a hide of Aston Um, I'll take it. I actually take it. Let's use that thing that looks cool. Um, I'll take it. I don't have to farm. It. I don't have to farm too much. I'm still gonna make myself. I'm still gonna get some better weapons. I mean, now I have the two things. I sh yeah, I, I Lionheart summons. 
Gonna try that one out. I, I knew that thing existed, but I never used it. I actually don't know why. Let's see how it goes. God damn, it does quite a bunch of good melee damage. How halves are for a few seconds that halves are the damage sources. Okay, we I think you have to use that weapon actively to get to gain to maintain that thing. So I'm not gonna take that. As cool as it seems, I have the Devil Sunrise and I think that thing is even though it's a bit smaller, it's probably way way better. I mean can you say about like around 40 or 40 to 50,000 damage? All right, get rid of the dummy and let's see what we can make out of the rune assault. We can make we can make it. We can make already blood flare armor, which I think I'm gonna make because it's, it has healing. We could make the last morning Neptune's bounty. I think I will go for. The Crescent Moon and the... I think I will go for the Moon and the... Uh, Galileo Gladys first. So we have like some good good weapons. Because I know those are like some solid weapons. Not sure about the, Glava, the Galileo Gladys. But we need it later anyways. Then otherwise we can... Yeah, there's the, there's the armor. Then there's Neptune's Bounty. Last morning, which is the other two weapons. I think I'll make those later. And I'm gonna make just the armor set now. Chest plates, blood of the cruises. And I think Rook, Melee. Let's go. Um enemies below 50% life drop a heart when stuck. 5 second cooldown, that is changed, that was not a cooldown, it was a random thing before I think, that's good. We get more blood orbs, Drew melee strikes, strikes will heal you, that's amazing. After striking enemy 15 times with Drew melee, it will enter a blood frenzy. Uh, during this you will gain melee damage, critical strike chance and contact damage is halved. Oh my god, that sounds good. That that armor sounds actually quite quite broken right now. <laughs> and since we're going towards the end game, it's gonna make uh it's gonna make uh another chest up here. But in there we put the Tarragon armor since that is gonna be for the end game. Yeah, that that worked quite re well, I would say. That worked actually so well. I kind of wanna. Do Kinda wanna do it right now uh, before I do the bis. So I would say we go for another poltergeist since we have also wanna get both of the melee weapons. And also, also because we got we got a lot of this, so we can we can make better way to summon that thing instead of like killing a million enemies. And with that, we should be fine to go for another poltergeist. It's such a stupid idea, but what the hell? We just give like half to fight. Alright, um, that's uh, the Dungeon Blind Terror done then, I would say. And cool we think we got a toy sickle. Probably one of my, of my favorite pets. It looks really cool. 
And we got... We got four of them killed. Probably in, never thought about this before. What I never thought I would do this before I started the episode. Now I just did four of them. Five of the thing of them at once. It was a bit close at some points when you don't watch out what you when you absolutely don't watch out, but I can't believe it was fine. That's kinda weird. Just have to say it like it is. And we got, I think, every drop you can get from Poltergeist in one bag, that's hella lucky. I'll take that. Shoot that. Um, afflic affliction. Enough. Summon a uh, mage weapon. This looks, I think, really cool. It might have been really cool. Quite a bunch of good stuff. Panther wax blocks, those are new, those are new. Uh, not really, imp don't look too bad, but not really that impressive in my opinion. I'll take that. Um, we got a, quite a bunch of more ruined souls. And we can make the Neptune's bounty. So let's see if we get everything together for quite a few weapons. Okay, quick plan change. We're gonna put the beautiful harvester in. Uh, I would say we put it in here right now, since for for that to upgrade it, we need reaper tooth neck. We need reaper tooths. Um, and I could also make the reaper tooth necklace, but I don't think we need it. And yeah, we need to go into the abyss first to get make that thing. First of all, I'm gonna try out what are those weapons. So first of all, first of all, Terror Blade. I knew that one. If you hit, if it hits anything, you see, it like has an explosion, and you can make that thing, and it will just get hit. It will just explode a lot. Banjo, like uh, the Fire Blades. Probably one of my, probably one of our, for the War of God weapons and Neptune's Bounty. I'm actually excited for that one. Why is a trident that rains down additional tridents at its travels? Hitting an initial inflict crush death? I'm actually surprised. Okay, I'm not sure about I'm actually not sure about any of those about the Optos weapons. They inflict crush death. But it seems so weak. I have no idea why they uh, why, literally no idea why it exists. Does it, it seems I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong about it, but I don't want to go like against a high-end boss just to try that thing out now. And say, yeah, this is... Uh, just to find out then if it sucks or not. This looks fine to me, so... We should have everything in the... We should have everything to work out in the bus, and... Yeah, then... Let's get some potions done. I'm like still not I'm not like completely ready for it, but it needs to be has to be done. Let's deposit all of it and let's go down to the abyss, I would say. I don't know one, we need this later. Let's try, let's try to... Let's try to despawn that one and try to force a few bobbit worms to spawn. Since that's the only thing I want to go with. After... Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb and dumb and dumb as well. I have the feeling I almost. Uh, I think I almost. Oh god, I think I almost failed that one. First of all, f god damn it, we need to get rid of that relocator. If we, I, I, I'm gonna kill myself with that thing. Second of all, do we have any, we have any pets? Yeah, we have. We're gonna need to get rid of that. And also, I teleported just into the into the stone, which. Gave me the which let me drown basically. 
gonna make gonna make need to make that more carefully. Oh my god, finally. Uh, Bobby Cook, let's go. Let's reach. But the insane pull velocity, this thing is just. This is. Oh god, this thing is also really nice. A Bobby Cook. I'm gonna go with the old classic Bobby Cook. This thing that just flings you around faster than you can. Re faster than you can react. And my god, I'm like still a bit. I'm like still a bit scared. It's like. Well, one enemy freezes you. Uh, with this ice, those ice bolts freeze me. That scared me the first time I got hit by it, because I was like spamming all my buttons. Like I was, I was pressing like probably all of my keyboard on. <laughs> okay, that's a bit overreacted, but I was actually like just spamming and hoping I would not die. Then, well, so we got six Reaper tools. And with those, we can make. We hopefully, can make the last morning. I don't know how good it is. I sh I'm gonna try it out on a, on a test dummy. Also, we got the Soul Edge, and as far as I know, there's nothing else out of out of the abyss. Let's get rid of the target dummy. Let's. Give me my relocator back and so well yeah and so well yeah that's the only thing i say uh we have a lot of things we have a lot of few things to do now we can oh no what means of you we have only like the old duke now and then it's already the war of god's time and i'm like actually a bit scared about that like the more i play the more i get scared about the things which is probably a bit understandable. I would say before I do it, let me upgrade my platform and my arena over there. So we can have a so we can have an ensure fight. Also funny, I never noticed they shoot things upwards. Well, now I know. The more you know. The better it is, I would say. And I don't think I want to go too high with that. And also, I am like actually don't think we need a skybox. If we if I die to the sky if I die because I don't have a skybox, then I would say it's my fault. I just I just go like make it make it some at some other day. I guess I don't know. But still, so what? Let's I would say let's take Zerg and battle potions. Let's get like a few of the more important ones. Um, armor crunching and what is that? Holy Wrath also kind of nice. And let's get here Killer Sunrise. I would say we go over there and make it daytime. And we're gonna go with the with the tier three Acid Rain. Probably one of my awesome, probably the best track out of this, out of the Acid Rain. I just like this track. All right, we need to kill quite a bunch of enemies. So I would say we we'll quickly go for it and make it seem like, uh, make it seem like a like a whole war field. I don't think we need it. Let's just. Okay, we need. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm just gonna look later over and we need to get quickly back there And let's get rid of Zerg and we need to kill up our last few enemies uh Oh, And let's get ready For the old Duke himself And there it goes Mm 
Okay, he's still predictive, that's the important thing. Um, should be 8 attacks, 9, 10. And, uh, and we go. I miscounted already. I think it's like close to attacking. I think this should be it. And we go. We are almost dead. Let's go. Um. We should watch out a bit more. Third calamity and the boss is still a hell of a lot of damage. This should be the second time now. Uh, and one more. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna die. Let me just talk about that. Get a bit, a few, only a few hits in. I should regenerate some health. Uh oh. Stupid vortexes, man. Gravity field is strong. to get into the next phase. Come on, next phase. Get in there, rogue man. I wanna keep that rambling. Okay, I'm scouting everything. I'm doing that fight so bad. Five, six, seven, seven. Oh! In we go. Some be greedy. Yeah, as he did always. That's what he said before he almost died and had to heal up. More shots. <laughs> and there he is. Let's go. Well. We got even a trophy, that's amazing. I like to see that. Um, Let's see what we get. We get a sulfuric acid cannon, that thing. I remember that thing. I can't remember what it does. Fires the acid shot that sticks to enemies and dissolves then. Oh, that's cool. I think it's probably one of... Yeah, it's one of those things I had here. Actually, let me quickly get rid of all the stuff. Alright, finally cleared the chest out. I don't know how long this episode has been so far. I don't care. Um, we got a few things out of this. We first of all got this thing I never got before from Calamity Vanities. Which is a nuclear terror mount. Uh, reduces, dam reduces damage and health when a boss is near... What? what? Excuse me. Excuse me? Okay, I like this pet. Oh, what the fuck? What the heck? What the heck? Why? Um. 
That's a thing. Um, then we get the bubble fin. How did it even get in there? Summons a, sh a schmauler. I like that thing. That looks cool. We can make the shark tree out of this, but I won't, I won't make it this playthrough. It's like requiring like all, all kinds of items. I just need to like, I just need the grand shark thing, which I could craft and I just need to farm the reaper sharks, but I don't want to do that. But more importantly, what is our loot from the great defeat of the old duke? God damn it, this is so... There we go. Let's go. Um, even that cool thing. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I don't know why. The harpoon weapon. Um, and we even got an old Duke Blushy, which is like absolutely amazing. Let's go. I'll take that. You, buddy, can go. I don't have any. You don't have anything from me. But since we don't need it anymore, let's. Put that in all that stuff in here and let's go over the impaler. I actually have no idea if I want to use it. There's like so many weapons I have that I don't even know. I have like actually no idea what I want to use. Um, so let's look over my weapons. That thing is only ma mainly for old Duke. I think it. I think we can put it away now. So let's let's get rid of let's sort the weapons out. I actually never knew those will not fly that far. But they're cool. Um, so yeah. Next part then, the War of Gods. And I love a lot of upgrades. I don't know how I want to make it. Maybe Yaren already after that. Since you don't need to do Yaren now twice. So you don't need to do Yaren twice anymore. You need to only do him once. And we also can get like the sun, Dark Sun Fragments. I don't know, the Voro, the you probably need to farm the farm him a few times for the bars. Otherwise, there's like a hell of a lot of upgrades after that. And then there's Yaron and Exomax and Supreme Calamitous. My goal is Supreme Calamitous since that's the final boss of the game, basically. I'm not counting the other item one worm, you can completely do that by yourself. Oh, I have a, have a better plan. Let's do it. Let's do it next part. Old. Uh, let's do it next part. The War of Gods and farming and weapon upgrades. Since there's a lot of upgrades and we need a lot of bars. Then the part after that we do Yaren and we. I'm gonna finish up some of the. I'm gonna finish up with the old ones. Army in the Frost Legion. And the Yaren and then like I'll see if I make a part for like since Supreme Calamitous is nothing ex except one fight uh, Until I count it as win as one and XMX is basically also just one fight with like a few upgrades afterwards, but For me after Supreme Calamitous the, the playthrough is like one and I can make upgrades after that maybe do a refight, fight, but That will be the end then and I'll oh, I'll see how it is. So then, so then I have a few, I have plans. Thank you for watching, and see you guys on the next episode where we can hopefully get 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 ourselves against the War of Gods. He got also a bit changed, not too broadly, but we'll see if we can stand against him. So yeah, see you then. Bye.